So on to number four. Considering uh, zoning analysis for a new project, you would be interested in uh, which of the following? So you're choosing three, uh, covenants, overlay district, easements, fire ratings, FAR, setbacks. Uh, so I'm going to give you the answers right off the bat here, and then we're going to talk about them just a little bit. So overlay districts, FAR, and setbacks. Setbacks is probably the obvious easy one. Uh, for pretty much uh, anywhere in the country, if I have a, a site, it's in a particular district. Each district is going to have a set of rules to it. Uh, those rules are going to say you can build the house uh, maybe you know, 10 feet from the front, uh, front yard uh, property line or 5 feet from the side yard property line. Well, those are setbacks. That's telling you where you can build on your site. It might be zero feet because it's a more of an urban setting, a, a retail setting, something like that. But uh, it's a way of describing where a building can go. FAR, that's floor area ratio. Floor area ratio is a, a simple way of sort of comparing how big a building you're allowed to build on a site to the size of the site. So if the site area is 10,000 square feet and you have an FAR of one, uh, that means you're allowed to build 10,000 square foot of building. Important to remember that does not include basements. Uh, it could be two floors of 5,000 square feet each. Uh, it uh, could be that the FAR is say 15. And if you had a 15 FAR, that's definitely a downtown high rises kind of situation. You might have an FAR of 0.5. That's definitely a more suburban. Uh, you're very, these are supposed to be uh, smaller structures on larger pieces of land, more open land. So it's a way of sort of controlling how big buildings are in, in these places. Overlay districts are examples where you might have something like uh, if you uh, uh, include, uh, you know, some percent, let's say 20 percent of um, affordable housing units in your, in your building uh, it will allow you to build three extra units or uh, bigger uh, square footage, something like that. So an overlay uh, district is where there is already a regular district, a zoning district, but then there are these other issues that overlay on top. Uh, Transit-oriented design would be another. Uh, green space might be another. There's a bunch of different ways you, you would have these things. This is something that's very big on the NCARB exam. Uh, I know it's been asked a number of times, so it's, some, it's an idea you should grab your, your, uh, get, your get your hands on. Uh, so just to be real quick here about it though, covenants are very similar to zoning rules, but covenants are private for like say, I imagine a gated community and why all the houses all look kind of the same in a gated community. It's because as a private deal, they have covenants that are part of the deed and you have to follow those. Well, that's a private uh, uh, aspect. Uh, it's not the town that's doing it. That's part of buying into uh, that process. So covenants are often asked in questions like this because they seem like zoning rules, but they're private. Easements, similar situation. Uh, if you have a, uh, an easement for, say, uh, power lines to go through your property or a driveway for somebody else, uh, somebody can get to their property through your property, or even if it's a like a view easement or something, these things have the power that zoning does in the fact that you are controlled of what you can do on your site depending on the easements, but the easements are contracts that ride with the deed. So the power company makes a contract with you, but it's a specific kind of contract. It's an easement contract, and so it's not just a deal between two people. It actually becomes part of the property. Doesn't mean it's there forever. All easements can have time, li time limits to them, but they're there in such a way that you uh, can uh, count on them in the sense that it's like a zoning setback or something, uh, but it's not. It's private. It's part of the deed. Fire ratings, that's building code, not zoning code.